High profile and sophisticated strikes, not only in the capital Kabul, but the rest of the country, according to Afghan security officials, have been the work of the Haqqani network. Led by Sirajuddin Haqqani, the group is reportedly based across the border in the Pakistani province of North Waziristan. Where Pakistani authorities have so far resisted U.S. pressure to launch an offensive against the group, which Washington believes is actually more closely connected to al-Qaeda rather than the Taliban. Now Al Jazeera has learned that Pakistan is mediating between the Afghan government and the Haqqani network. Our sources tell us Sirajuddin Haqqani held face-to-face -face talks with the Afghan president Hamid Karzai in Kabul a few days ago. They told us that Haqqani was accompanied by the head of the Pakistani army and the head of the Pakistani intelligence agency. The president's office, however, has denied that such a meeting took place. The Afghan media are also reporting that secret meetings are taking place and Karzai is actively trying to hammer out a deal with groups opposed to his government. Afghan government officials are holding secret talks in recent months with the Taliban, who are close to Pakistan, like Sirajuddin Haqqani. Twice Kayani, Pasha and Durrani, the former head of the Pakistan intelligence, held talks in Kabul. They want to arrange some sort of an agreement. Karzai has been pushing for a wide-ranging peace process. With the Americans now talking about a withdrawal timetable, Karzai could be looking for another partner, a country that in the past he has consistently accused of supporting the Taliban, Pakistan. President Karzai is a pragmatic leader. He understands the realities of Afghanistan. He understands the realities of this region. And I think he also understands that the fact that the regional players have been involved in this process for a while and he needs the support of these regional players and in particularly Pakistan. We're clear on what has transpired so far. So far, so we have to wait at least to see what really comes out of this broad deal if there is any. Some believe steps in that direction have already been taken by the Afghan leader. They point to what appeared to be forced resignations of Amrullah Saleh, the head of the Afghan intelligence, and the interior minister. The official explanation was their failure to adequately protect the Kabul Peace Jirga meeting from attack from Haqqani network fighters. But many say it was the former minister's opposition to cutting a deal involving either the Taliban or Pakistan that cost them their jobs. Without a doubt, Amrullah Saleh was not happy with Pakistani politics, and Pakistan considered him an obstacle in the way of them gaining a foothold in Afghanistan. The Pakistanis have always said, if you want peace, you have to go through us. Doubts about Pakistan's intentions dominated Afghan politics for almost a decade now, leading some to fear it may not be a just negotiator. Any deal with any armed group could well bring security to the country, but Karzai might struggle to convince a suspicious Afghan public that Pakistan's intentions are good. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Kabul.